Africa. I'm hoping that you know that it's not just one giant Africa-shaped country. Okay, good. Africa is 54 separate countries and over 1 billion people. But historically, it's not been that unified. For example, not many people in my country, Botswana, know what's happening in Guinea or Morocco or where? Last century, black intellectuals like Ghana's independence leader Kwame Nkrumah founded Pan-Africanism, a desire for political African unity. It kind of just ended up being a bunch of leaders high-fiving each other in conference rooms. It didn't really mean very much for ordinary Africans. Now though, we're seeing a new wave of Pan-Africanism. I call it social Pan-Africanism. The internet now has given Africans a tool to unite in ways that we never could before. From the comfort of our own country, we can now support South African students fighting for cheaper fees, Zimbabwean women who are marching to parliament, and we can also support Angolan journalists who just want to do their job. We can swap ideas, and my dream is that young Africans can begin to rescue each other, and ultimately, to rescue ourselves.